have your unit plugged up wherever you're connecting, you need to zoom and focus. And you can do that simply by pressing the lens key. Once we're focused and zoom, or for focus, as you can see, and then you press again for zoom. So what I'm going to do is zoom it down to minimum, like so. And this is the remote control here, which I'm going to be using from across the room. So I'm going to stand beside it to give you an idea. And this is how big it's going to get, and this is just an example of me standing beside it to give you an idea. So everything in there is pretty simple and straightforward. So you have the lens key, you adjust your shift, your focus and all from there. Once you have this set up correct, you're good to go. So in the settings, you can either use your remote control here, um, or the buttons on the side of the unit, which I think is probably handier. So you have a menu key, so I'm just going to get out of that there. So you have a menu key here, which will bring up image, signal, settings, extended, network, information, and reset. And you have a navy pad on the side of the unit. So if you go into image, you can go across here, adjust the settings like so. Everyone's going to be different, so it's just to show you what you're dealing with here. So if you're down at the signal, then you have 3D setup. Aspect, color, space, dynamic range, and advanced. Then you have other settings here. You have Keystone, which will tilt the image back and forward. Blanking, HDMI link, lock settings, user button, file fast, and memory. And it's oh, the laptop has gone off. Sorry. And down here you will have extended, so you can go into home, screen, display, projection, like so, front, ceiling, rear, and ceiling. So we don't have this on the ceiling, obviously, so it's, it's just on the flat, but you can't place it on the ceiling. So it basically just uh, reverse the image. Down to operation then, and you have the rest here. You have network then, you have wireless LAN, network info, down into info, projector info and version. So I'm just going to actually go into that and see what version we're at, just in case people want to know. So that's it there. And back out then, then you have to reset. So this will uh, reset everything and um, back to its original configuration. Now once you open this, the first thing I'm going to do is need to configure the zoom and uh, the focus just to get it right and that's basically quick look at the settings and how the zoom will work and so on which is pretty cool so if we just get out all that um, from here you can tilt the image back and forward like so like that and then you go into the adjustment below and then you can zoom it then further on so I'm going to take a look at some video samples after this and show you what it looks like and some images as well. So we'll see you in a second. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is have a look at some photographs on through the laptop up onto the screen here and uh, give you an idea of what it looks like. Uh, and as you can see, the image is pretty good. I'm just going to go and scroll through a few. This is my old blog from years ago, Nokia New was Ireland. That's my little girl testing the phone and the headphones in my old car. Uh, Nokia Music, Knight Rider, and as you can see, the images are pretty cool. That's me in the old Nokia days with some boys, some of you might know. And hopefully we get on to something more interesting. Rather than 
stuff like that. If we go back, you will go into your gallery and we have, let me see, I have some photos from back here of airplanes and stuff like that. If we start there perhaps. So this was at an air show. It seems to be going the wrong way. So this these are photographs taken on an air show and basically that's what it's gonna look like on your screen just to give you an idea of how good the quality is and so on. Hello, this is Jim from TechBuzz and we're going to give you a quick demo of what the Epson EH-TW9400 looks like. This is on the biggest wall in the house and currently we have our Xbox connected to it. So most people are going to be using HDMI as a connection, um, be it through gaming or through their laptop or whatever else the case may be. So this is just an example here and now with gameplay with the Xbox on the wall and it's maxed out on the entire wall. So those of you might remember the last projector we did, it didn't fill the entire wall, this one is filling the entire wall. So this is what the gaming will look like from your Xbox or your Playstation or another example would be your Nintendo Wii or whatever other peripheral you want to connect to the Epson projector. So this is the quality you're looking at here, which is pretty amazing. This is covering the whole entire wall. So we're going to move on next to have a look at some Plex, perhaps Netflix, YouTube and just general web browsing. Okay, so we're now plugged in with the laptop. And as you can see, again, the full wall is covered and the quality is excellent. So that's just my website there, just for an idea of how big the projection is and you can scroll down like so and it's just fantastic how good the quality is just on a normal white painted wall so we're going to move on to Google YouTube for example somewhere where we spend a lot of time and give you a look at a video with some sound as well because it's my own video Hi, this is Jim from TechBuzz and today we're going to give you a quick look and review of the official Google Pixel 3 XL cases. We've got two in stock here and they are the fabric cases and on the back it'll just tell us the fabric case for and different languages there. And designed by Google made in China. So if we open up the cases like so we have these three lovely colours here and we will take them out and underneath the case. So that will give you a sample of, for example, YouTube if you happen to be playing it through this medium. You have the full wall and full use of it, which is excellent. So if you have Plex, for example, we want to give you a quick demo of the film. So that's just a quick sample of what you're looking at through the screen. The internet reception is a bit brutal tonight but as you can see it's a fantastic picture and that's what you're looking at if you're using this as a medium to project any content onto the wall through either your TV 
which is the same, the same will come up, or your Xbox or laptop, whatever the case may be. 